What is up there, Reject Nation? Greg and John here today to continue what I can only describe as the feel-good show of the year. Squid Game, Episode 4, Stick to the Team! The show has been awesome. Guys, what I'm going to ask from you is if you could go ahead and hit that like button or the dislike button, whichever one, as long as you have both, that's what counts. Democracy, just like this show. Subscribe, click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction for the next Squid Game episode is up. Full-length watch-alongs where you sync up with the time code or over at our Patreon page, cover a whole plethora of shows over there as well, with options for reaction highlights and watch along included. Lastly, Prepper, thank you team for editing this down. You guys rock. Yeah, let's do it. Tisk tisk. Game's rigged. Kim <laughs> Oh. Anya. No, he knows. Yeah. Feeling betrayed. Wise and goals. <laughs> Wise and goals. He's got his arm around her. Okay. That's right, man. They're going to start a whole new life. <laughs> Natural born killers. Oh, they mix up the food at least. Dude, the crisp, refreshing taste of Sprite. Shigetanya. They got branded bottles. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep that brand alive. Excuse me. I can't wait for you to die. <laughs> I really can't wait, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Break up the fight, pink people. God, I hate this guy so much. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. What are the rules? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> they can do whatever they want to each other, I guess. You should just be killing us. Stick to the rules. <laughs> you laid out. Oh, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Wow, they can just kill each other? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> new rules, new game. What the hell? Oh, that is so scary. Oh, they can just oh, murder each other. Oh, no. Oh, he's like, I got a new plan. <laughs> it's weird to watch this show and be like, now that's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Let's cross the line here, cross buddy. The line. <laughs> Force the rules. You don't know what's going on. Sorry. See this? I'm a square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> My dude. I hope to be just like that square someday. Uh, what? 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 Uh, oh, what? Wow! Whoo! Whoa! What? 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 Oh. You bastards. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you god! Yeah, like they're gonna sleep. Uh, oh, 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 oh. She's done. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> so sadistic. That's mad. <laughs> oh God. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, please kill him. Kill him. Right in the nuts. How's the old man gonna survive this? Oh, yes, my yes. boy! <laughs> yes! I hope he's sound asleep. <laughs> he's just chilling through this whole thing. Hope so. What the hell? <laughs> One positive. Oh, Kill this guy. On. Oh. Kill him, please. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, nice work, man. Oh, unhand no. him. Aww. What are you gonna do? Oh, 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 <laughs> Opens up to you. <laughs> oh, oh no. My name is Squid Game. I don't know how you would have the <laughs> luster to, to do such an uh, activity right now. <laughs> no, after all that murder and getting sewn up. And how injured you are. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I get it. She's Absolutely. gravitated towards like the alpha personality, yeah. Yeah, she's the one who worms in at his side. Whoever Alpha may be, Harley Quinn. He still has battery. <laughs> what is the fool? Ha ha. Is she cool? Tell him to move to the end. Put him on your they wake up, they're trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Ten people. Yeah, nothing could go wrong today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> guy breaks my heart, man. No. <laughs> 혹시 팀을 정하셨나요? 아니요. 그럼 저랑 같이 하시죠. 팀이 있습니다. 아니 근데 저는 꼭제 아내랑 같이 해야 되는데. Oh no! This is, I cannot believe this. 저희 팀에 이미 여자가 많아져요. Oh man! 어따 대고 자꾸 오빠 오빠야. 한 번만 더 오빠라고 짓거리면 그 아가리 찢어버린다. 개새끼. 오늘도 게임 잘 해보세요. 보니야. 나랑 하자. Yeah, okay. Okay. 하나, 둘. Then you get a team of ten. Yeah, <laughs> all the <laughs> suckers. <laughs> 아우. 아니 아무도 못 데려온 사람이 누구죠? 미안하네. 
팀다 정해지고 나면 오갈 데 없이 밀려난 인간이 오겠지. 밀려나긴 누가 밀려나? 아, 뉴에. <웃음> You're gonna step through the Stargate. This one gonna end on a cliffhanger? I, I wouldn't put it past him at this point. That would be new. I mean, for like the like for the before game the game itself, starts. Yeah. 이번 게임은 줄다리기입니다. Strength was really important on this one. Yeah. 왼쪽 타워에 오를 팀을 추첨하겠습니다. 일쪽 자리에서 일어나 주세요. 오른쪽 타워에 오를 팀을 추첨하겠습니다. Please don't be. Please. <웃음> 자리에서 일어나 주세요. Okay. 일조와 칠조가 먼저 대결하겠습니다. One team looks a lot more confident than the other. <웃음> What a shot. <sighs> if your fall is broken by the pile of bodies below, can you compete in the next game? No, oh, man, yeah, this would be my come to Jesus moment, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, yeah. Damn, this show! Yep. This freaking yep. show! Yep. This is so. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's not necessarily lethal fall. Oh, guys. Oh, boy. They're all taller. <laughs> They're all, all tall. tall dudes. <laughs> This is why exercise is important. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be prepared in case you're thrown into a game of life and death. Doctor, that's why a doctor shows her team. Mm-hmm. You need the strength, man. Preach the wisdom. Come <laughs> 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 상대편의 얼굴을 그 사람이 약해 보이거나 키가 꺾여 보이면은 그땐 이미 승부는 끝난 거야. The leader did look pretty unconfident in the last one. <웃음> 마치 배의 타처럼 듬직한 사람이 맡아줘야 돼. 그리고 사람을 배치하는 게 중요한데 줄을 사이에 놓고 한 명씩. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that is that's very smart. 11자 똑바로 놔. 줄은 겨드랑이 사이에 끼고 그래야 힘을 제대로 받을 수가 있어. We're going. We're doing this. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> 이때 자세는 눕는 자세. 아랫배를 하늘로 쭉 위로 올리고 Come on! Oh. Come on, guys! Oh, wow, you can really feel the struggle! Pull, 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 pull! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Come on! Come on! Oh my god! 
This one of them has to trip. Just one of them. This one, all you need is one. No, no. Come on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Regain your belt! Come on! Sons of bitches! What a cliffhanger! Oh, damn! No fair! No fair! <laughs> Whoa, that was scary. Yeah, oh. That was really scary. God. <laughs> Yo, this is uh this is a good show. <laughs> yep. This is a great show. Quality. I I loved loved the way this one was shot. Um just brilliantly captured that like the style they have really I mean I we're only in episode four. All right, and I know there's some of you guys who are like, oh, just wait, just wait, you guys. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> I, I know. I feel like I can already hear the the thousands of voices <laughs> echoing yeah. in the ether of yeah. you guys saying that our way. Um, but right now, just from episode four, yes, I am loving the way this is shot. Right down to that riot scene um, with the way they used full effect of the, of the strobe effect was wonderfully wonderfully captured so taut and uh just uh, like uh, immersive okay. and then here with the with the tug of war the way they captured that sequence was like the the way they like isolate our figures in in the game with the tug of war like how everything is just black and you feel the scale the scope of just like these tiny figures look how big the fall is and the yeah. drop and just that desperate angst that they have here you know you like the clenching of the teeth and like it, it it's just such a like you physically this is hinging on grip right and then yet yeah. it, it is gripping your your heart you can just feel it like oh. just like the the show is just captured, holding your heart, just squeezing it. <laughs> and so it's working on this like physical, emotional, complementary effect. It's so visceral and palpable. I, I love it so much, just how effective all this is. And then on top of that, you just got like the the, the bleak downfall of character development here because he they have it's not just dark. That's what helps balance it is because you get these like little shades of. Of, of rays of light that that pierce through the veil once in a while of you know like the how some of them are getting to know each other some of them are forming teams uh in, in a genuine way and and not just a, a survival of the fittest way but that theme is like this is the one that put that at the forefront you know like this whole episode has been survival of the fittest mm -hmm. uh it's it's so good it, it's so damn good and, and like you really you really care about our main team a lot and like the the main people that we've been focusing on of the you know oh my god I'm such an asshole you know when the next <laughs> next episode we're gonna pull up all their yeah. names and we're gonna commit to memory <laughs> yeah you know, we gotta do it uh but yeah all the the main characters and even the pickpocket girl um yes like the, the, you really care about them and then they've done such an interesting job at drawing and i promise you i'm gonna let you talk in a second <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they've done such an interesting job at drawing this line where the enemy are the people who have like thrust them into the position. We go. We got here. Oh, get into your food. Get into your food. We got a cat thing. We got a cat. That's the next game. Make sure John closes his backpack. Clo and it's closed. He's trying to no. get inside. There's nothing in there. What? This is not closed. There's nothing in that this pocket. Is open. He's trying to get. Look at that. He's trying to get food in the other pocket that is all zipped and he up. He will succeed. And he he's tear trying through. to excavate into the bag. Through. I'm like, dude, just give it up. Give it up, bro. Hair through. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so, uh, what they've done a good job of doing is drawing this parallel, this this line of because these people have chosen to be here, yeah. the sadistic rich people who have put these desperate individuals in this game are not even the bad guys <laughs> but the the bad guys are the asshole gang <laughs> on the team <laughs> and it's so fascinating because it's like the real enemy 
is technically this these sadists who are doing this game. Yet, no, they're not. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it, the people have chosen to be here. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> or, or yeah, or have kind of looked at their position and looked at what's available to them and gone, I have really no other viable option than to be here. And I think it's it's great because this show has done a really nice job of developing its own shadowy underworld organization with of which we still don't know the true nature and yet it also still feels perfectly aligned with this socioeconomic class metaphor because it is you know who is really behind mm -hmm. the curtain pulling the strings and what are the rules of the game actually and it's like yeah you look at this and in a sense you're like well hey it's the people who are now kind of yeah rising to a new level of villainy and realizing that they can take each other out in order to improve the game but even that is just a symptom of what it's been thrust upon them by the people who are orchestrating and pulling all the strings of this and who are rigging it in a way where it's not actually fair for anybody. And so, yeah, it's like, you know, you can look at the ways in which different socioeconomic systems, again, set you up. And, and I thought of the last episode, too, with the whole way that they're like, you know, we gave you all the rules and tools that you need to win, and all you got to do is play by the rules and win, and you'll be fine. And it's not as simple as that in the system incentivize. I love that detail here about how, like, yeah, we we t intentionally didn't give you enough food to create this competition, to create these circumstances under which you guys are going to get more and more desperate and more and more cutthroat. And it's interesting to watch as everybody, you know, looks back and forth and thinks, okay, well, what's going to matter the most under this paradigm? And it's like, it is this perfect high concept, surreal survival horror game show. But every level of it, I feel like you can compare and contrast with just, you know, the rat race of being in these money systems. You yeah. Know? Well, the show is brilliant in its conception because they have these games that are so simple because they're child, they're children's games. Mm -hmm. They're just putting it on a large scale. So it's easy to understand the games and what you have to do. It's not like other shows that will do like these crazy advanced because we've, we've seen like survival reality based you know like Hunger Games Running Man Battle uh, Royale, Battle Royale. Royale. So, yeah, we've seen them and oftentimes the it can be a little bit complex in the rules or it's just a straightforward just kill each other you yeah know? <laughs> so here they have these elaborate set pieces that are easy to comprehend due to the nature of where they stem from mm -hmm. you know so I think that is so smart like it's just such a smart concept yeah. And um, what I especially loved here is the development of the the elderly man. I, I feel like there's just something here that we're not <laughs> being told about him, um, or he's gonna. I hope he. I hope he makes it to the final, the the fi the, the finish line. Here. I hope he makes it there uh, because I, I thought it was great how the first half of this he's just viewed. He's like scared, sad, weak. Uh, incapable of defending off, you know, and people who might try to kill him. So he cowers to the top and pleads, like, don't stop, I'm scared. You, you, I'm, he's afraid he's going to die. And they can't remember his own name. And then even when they're forming their team, they're like, we've got an elderly man. He can't even recruit a guy, yeah. you know. And then in the final moments of the game, he's like, no, I, 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 there's a strategy to this. And yeah. we can do this with, with proper strategy, which I was like, oh, shit, he's the, he's the hope. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's so cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's really good. Like as as freaking harrowing and dark as this shit is, with like these little touches of like guy falls down and then oh of course of course one of these guys is still alive and then yes. you know like the, the way they beat each other to a pulp there uh, during the riot and. Uh, and then like oh, I'm here with my wife. <laughs> I'm like Jesus Christ, <laughs> uh, broke my heart. Like sorry, can't choose you because we can only want Strategy. men, and we can only choose one. Sorry, <laughs> you know, oh, my mathematically God. speaking. But that's and that's the thing is like those are the positions that you get pushed into when you're in a rat race money game. Not to say that there's a one to one comparison, but yeah, I mean, you know, on the one hand, you're like, who deserves to have a good solid team around them? Probably the married couple or the uh, yeah. elderly man. And yet, in the cutthroat nature of the game that we've been presented with and the rules that we're kind of helpless but to follow uh, yeah those people get screwed <laughs> yeah dude this 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 show is uh it's awesome this it's it just keeps getting better and <laughs> and more surprising mm -hmm. and uh they, like the 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 way they develop the characters along the way is so fascinating to watch and uh and then we got the detective guy who oh, like 
man, I don't know how this guy's staying level headed during all this. I'd be so sick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I love that they've kept that going, and I'm curious to see, obviously, where that's going to go for the plot, but I just love how much they've made out of this one character. We only see his face like once in a yeah. while. He's always silent. He's always just body language, right, right. and yet they manage to make him stand out, and they also manage to create this sense that, like, yes, he is sort of growing and realizing what he needs to do to blend in further and further into this. And yeah, just each episode, they've thus far been really great at knowing how much time to spend with each situation so that you really feel like you're in the midst of it and you're sort of trapped there yeah. with everybody. And each episode, too, they're great at throwing in a visual or a stylistic flourish that really, it's always just like one or two little things that bring that tension that much higher in this episode. Yeah, it was just that beautiful application of the strobe to make the whole thing a torture nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> man. Know. Oh. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. I'm really loving this, man. This is brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, guys. What did you think about this episode? Uh, hit that like button, please, and subscribe. Shit, we got more to go. And hey, let's do a pick. Deontay W. Tunk Punch Fart Box. Yeah, that's right. That's his name. And if there's anyone here who could easily survive a riot situation such as this, it's got to be W. Tunk Punch Fart Box. Think about his specialties. You know, punch and fart, punch and fart, fart boxes. boxes. Imagine Think going of, around there doing all that. Look at how many alliances you could form, man. Look at how many interestingly intimate and awkward bathroom exchanges you could have with your unique gift. Ruthless, lethal. My God, no one will mess with the menace that is you. They just want to get near you out of discomfort. No, nope, <laughs> nope. protect your cheeks. Deontay's around. You never know what he's going to punch next with his, with his tongue. <laughs> Oh, God, you're gonna fart on us. God, no. <laughs> no. Tongue <laughs> fart. People can handle violence, but people don't like just icky. They don't like being farted on. <laughs> yeah. Tongue punch. <laughs> so, uh, tongue punch, man. Good luck out there. You might survive the Squid Games.